Hey everybody, so this is Mr. Lee. I'm your math teacher this uh, mini semester for Math 143. Uh, I wanted to uh, do an intro video for you, but I wanted to start out by saying uh, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Um, our access to campus is limited, but I really want to stress that uh, your academic goals are still important to us. Um, staying on track and reaching your academic goals is still a priority. And uh, I'm here and the college is here to provide the support that you need to be successful. I want to see everyone in this class successful this semester. Uh, this video is focused on procedures and policies uh, for the class. Um, I'm hoping it won't take more than 10 minutes. Uh, so you can really focus in on the course material, meeting the student learning outcomes, and being successful. So we're going to start by taking a look at the syllabus. Uh, my name is Grady Lee Wilson Withers. I go by Mr. Lee. Um, my email address right here is the best way to get in touch with me. Um, I do have office hours um, Monday through Thursday. Uh, if you want to meet up, just reach out to me via email and we'll work something out. Uh, this course is asynchronous um, and the last day you can withdraw is uh, April 12th. Uh, you do not need to buy a textbook. Um, my Open Math is a platform that we have integrated with Blackboard, so you will access all of your course materials through Blackboard. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show that to you in a, a minute. It's all single log on. Um, but you do need some kind of calculator, uh, something that will sh show the command line. Um, a TI-34II is great. Um, if you have like a something in the 83 family, it's a bit overkill, but that will totally work. So um, if you shop used and you shop smart, you can, you can find a calculator in the 10 to $20 range. All right, um, here's some information about the uh, co-rec course and a little bit of information about placement. Co-rec course is important. Um, the course description and the student learning outcomes are here. I will do what needs to be done to make sure we meet these. We use the 10 point grading scale. All right, what students tend to care about. How will your grade in this class be calculated? There are four tests in this class. Uh, the class is roughly eight weeks long, um, seven and a half weeks plus a few days off. So um, you have an exam every other week, every other weekend. And I'll look at the pacing guide with you in a second. Uh, each exam counts for 8% of your overall grade, um, and each exam uh, it, the exams are not cumulative. The exams cover the material we've discussed since the last exam. Homeworks are 40% of your grade. Labs are 28%. We'll, we'll demo all three of these in a minute. Um, and I think a lot of this will make more sense when we look at the pacing guide. Uh, there's no extra credit for this course. I like to leave students in the class if they have a path to being successful. If you don't have a path to being successful, if you've missed too much work to be able to be successful in this class, um, then it's in your best interest to withdraw, and I will withdraw you. Um, if you miss more than four assignments uh, and you do not have a path to success, I will withdraw you because that's better than uh, earning an F. Uh, there's some information information here about disability services, which are that's good and uh, some information here about asynchronous classes. Okay, at the bottom is the pacing guide. Um, I would encourage you to print this pacing guide, uh, this, this last page of the syllabus, hang it up on your refrigerator or wherever you're gonna prominently see it. I really think it helps you keep track of what we're doing in class. Um, and you can see on Saturdays, every other Saturday, we have a test. The last test is actually on a Wednesday. It's the last day of our uh, session, which is uh, April 28th. So every other weekend, again, these tests only cover the stuff. So like test three will cover growth model, statistics, and uh, medical testing. Uh, you have an assignment due about every night. Uh, so uh, you know, the first day of class, go ahead and complete the course entry assignment. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, then you'll have a homework assignment due every Monday and Wednesday. You will have a lab assignment due every Tuesday and Thursday throughout the semester. An assignment due every night, Monday through Thursday. Nothing due on Fridays. You get your Fridays off. Fridays are free. 
um, but make sure you're keeping keeping up with the work. I don't want to see you fall behind. Okay, let's navigate. Uh, let's navigate Blackboard a bit, and when you log on, you start on this landing page, and we will talk about this stuff in a minute. But let's start by uh, there's a Start Here tab, and this video will be in the Start Here tab later. Let me turn this uh, edit mode off so it looks a little bit more like what you will see. Um, but the course entry assignment, this is very important. If you do not complete the course entry assignment, you will automatically be withdrawn from this course. This is required for me to do by the auditor. Please go right now, knock it out. It shouldn't take you but five minutes. Um, it's just a discussion post. If you do it, I'm going to give you credit for it. You just got to do it so you don't automatically get withdrawn. Okay. Uh, I got my contact here, campus resources. I'm going to, I'm going to bug you about tutoring all semester, but the Learning Center is offering free online tutoring. This is a uh, great resource. Uh, generally, students score a, a grade better in this course if they participate regularly in tutoring. All right. Uh, my grades won't look like much right now, but this is where um, you will see all kinds of stuff. This is where you can look up your grades. And um, it should actually give you the due dates here as well. I'll check on this when I finish with this video. Okay. Um, what happens? Okay. I'll check on this, but you can, this is a helpful place. Okay. Coursework. Uh, I have not turned some stuff on yet, so I'll do that in a minute. Um, coursework here. Uh, you will see folders here, so you have uh, scientific notation here, for example. You'll have a homework assignment here, and then a lab assignment here uh, in each folder. The homework assignment will be due on a Monday or a Wednesday, so this is the first homework assignment. This is due on Monday. This is due on Wednesday. Uh, going back to the syllabus, you will see on uh, your homework grade, which is the, your homework grade is almost always your class grade. Um, it works out that way 95% of the time. Um, it's 40% of your overall grade. It's a big deal. You get unlimited attempts on your homework assignments. So take advantage of multiple attempts with time and support you can have really strong homework grades. I really want to see 100% down the board. Uh, when students uh, say they are struggling with the class, that's the first thing I, I look at. Are you scoring 100% on every homework assignment? Uh, with the lab assignments, you get three attempts, but only the last attempt is recorded. So if you make some silly mistakes or if you forget to attach your work or something, um, only that last attempt is what's going to be recorded. So keep that in mind. Let's actually, I'm going to pull up one of the labs for you. And I'm going to look for a good example here. See if I like this example. Okay. So this is the uh, expected value lab. You can see that it is uh, seven questions long. Each question is worth six uh, is worth ten points, except for this last question. It tells you that you're in you know, attempt one of three. If we submit this, it'll give you some feedback, and there's a button right here for reattempting assessment. Um, this last question, about every other lab has this where you have to show your work, step-by-step -step work. Uh, this is not automatically graded. Um, so you will submit this, and then I will sit down after the lab is due and look over your work and uh, manually grade it. So, um, you know, if you earn a 50 out of 70 on a lab, well, it could be that you had 20 points from the group from the from from your work, that I have not um, graded yet, and that's why it's showing as 50 out of 70. 
And if your work looks good, and I you know, give you full credit, uh, which I like to do, then you would have a 70 out of 70. Okay, so um, I think that's the highlights. Um, please reach out if there's any, if you have any questions, if there's anything I can do to help. Um, I really want to see everybody uh, do well this semester um, and uh, you know, earn a good grade in my class. And uh, you know, your, your freshman level math class is one of the biggest barriers to completing your college degree. I want to see everybody uh, you know, meeting their uh, academic goals. So um, I'm here to help you uh, stay on track. So I'll talk to you later.